My name is Brian Kajiyama. I am a person with cerebral palsy, a neurological disorder which affects people differently. In my case it affects my left side primarily, where I have very little control over my muscles. When Brian was born, he had problems during birth. His lungs collapsed, so he was deprived of some oxygen going to his brain. So we knew something was wrong when the doctors came in and said that um, you can be guardedly optimistic that he, he may be okay. And at that point, it was more like survival. The challenge for me lay in my ability to accept the attitudes of society towards persons with disabilities. I had to learn how to cope and think of strategies of how to turn negative comments or actions into positive ones. For instance, people have a tendency to stare at unfamiliar things, so in my mind I had to look at it as I must look darn good because they love looking at me. He just has drive and determination. It makes him the way he is today. He's, he has a positive outlook on life. From the time he was a little boy, Brian attended Warrior football games with his dad and dreamt that one day he would play. Once he realized that his dream would never come true, he focused on the one thing that his disability couldn't limit, his education. Being that he was aware there were things he couldn't do physically, I think for himself he felt the way to excel was in academics. So if he could excel academically, maybe in his mind, people would accept him more. In fact, he even asked his teacher for more homework when he was in elementary school. Today, Brian is studying for his doctorate in special education at the University of Hawaii, where he also received his undergrad and master's degrees. From the time he was a freshman, Brian was a fixture at Warrior football practice, where he stood out for more than just being the only person in a wheelchair. 7 o'clock, he'd walk out on the field, and he'd already be here sitting in his chair watching practice. You know, so one day, I just walked over and introduced myself, and I asked him, I said, Brian, you know, tell me something about your background. He told me he'd grown up dreaming of playing, and as crazy as that may sound to you and me, he used to go to the games with his dad in his chair and dream about one day getting out of his chair and walking and playing. And I thought to myself, well, anybody that loves UH football that much, there's got to be a place for him inside the program. I ended up being a volunteer for the entire season and I really didn't know what this would lead to. I had no expectations whatsoever, but I was really excited about the opportunity. His efforts paid off. Good morning, Jim. How are you doing? This past offseason, head coach June Jones appointed Brian an official graduate assistant, making him not only part of the team he'd grown up idolizing, but also giving him his own spot in the coach's locker room. I never imagined I'd ever see my name on a locker, so the first day I came in and saw it, I took a moment to think that this is really happening. He functions really like a quality control guy in the NFL does. He does our self-scout, he does opponent scout. Uh, he's really, really creative with video equipment. He knows football now, so he can talk to me about this or that from a pure coach-speak perspective. Coach Ryan Bold is the reason I'm in the position that I'm in today. Last year he would say, we make the most out of opportunities because you'll never get them back. And I really didn't know what he meant by it at that time other than he wanted me to bust my ass, which I did willingly since I was having a great time. My relationship with Dev is amazing. Away from football, we just talk about life in general. He tries to give me advice about girls, and even if it's great advice, it hasn't really worked since I'm still single. I see him as my friend. I see him as my equal in the coaching aspect, and I see him as a human being. God put him in a different package, but he's still an amazing guy. I would tell Coach Ryan Bold thank you. Thank you for believing in a slap like myself. And thank you for seeing me as a person with abilities, not as a person with a disability. And 
lastly coach Ryan Bold I'm waiting to go surfing so get out of your office and let's go hang ten. that all of my experiences have made me to be. With every experience, there were challenges associated with them. But I persevered and had the determination to overcome any obstacles that lay in my way. And that is what I am most proud of, being who I am today. And Brian has tremendous ability, and once you get through looking at the guy in the chair and see the human being there, the ability that sits in that chair. I think that's the great lesson to all of us in Brian's story. I would tell a young child who might have cerebral palsy to dream big. Dream really, really big. Don't let people tell you what you can or can't do because it will be up to you to create your own destiny. I'm an example of someone who really shouldn't be in the position that I'm in today. But because I worked hard and had people believe in me, that is why I am here today.